Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a closer look at the structure of the Motion Director tool so you can learn how to expand your IMD content in the best way possible for the most efficient workflow on your next project. Let's take a brief look at the basic settings first. When you're using the Motion Director tool, it's always recommended to switch your workspace mode to Motion Director to get the best experience. You can also use the Control-8 hotkey. After you have a character selected, you can find the Motion Director files in your Content Manager. In the Motion Director folder, you'll find the default IMD presets that come with iClone 8. Here I'm just applying the casual All IMD, which is the most comprehensive IMD to start from. Make sure you choose a male or female template according to your character. With the Motion Director mode enabled, you'll see a lot of information that may be overwhelming at first, so let's break down the file types. There are three types of files you should be familiar with. The IMD, IMD Extension, and IMD Data Files. Let's look at the basic IMD file first. This contains modes, speeds, and performs. Every mode will contain an idle motion for your character. There may also be some sub-idle motions contained within the IMD that are set to blend flawlessly into the main idle. As you can see with our casual all IMD applied, there are two idle motions, idle 1 and idle 2. When there is no input into your character movement, these will cycle randomly. Let's press start and give it a test. Once we do, you'll see the character randomly cycling through the preset idle motions that are included with the IMD. If you want to further customize the sub-idle motions, you can enter into the Edit Behavior window and enable or disable either of the sub-idles. Within every motion in your IMD, there will be a number of speeds. Within every speed, there will also be different performs. This ensures that every perform can have the most accurate transitions. For example, all of the performs within speed 1 here will have flawless transitions between each other. As an example, within this casual IMD, you will find three different speeds, stroll, walk, and jog. Within stroll, there are three different performs, which will blend flawlessly into the base stroll or idle motions. You can use the 1, 2, or 3 hotkeys on your keyboard, or else any assigned keys on a controller to activate them. In this example, I'm using an Xbox controller to activate the performs. One mode can also contain a number of different speeds as well. You can use the Control or Shift hotkeys to toggle between the different speeds, and you'll see a perfect transition between them all. In this example, you'll see that there are three speeds defined, Stroll, Walk, and Jog. You can use the Shift and Control keys to switch speeds here, and if you're using a joystick control, it will depend on the level of pressure you place on the joystick. As mentioned earlier, each speed will have different performs that are suitable for that level of speed and can blend in flawlessly. Each IMD can also contain more than one mode as well. This means that you can switch between different modes on the fly. In the next example, you can see that we have both casual and athletic IMDs applied. I'll go up to Edit Behavior and ensure that the Athletic IMD is active as well, which allows us to transition between the two modes in real time. Once you hit Apply, all the behaviors will be updated. Now you can see that both Casual and Athletic have F1 and F2 hotkeys assigned respectively, which you can toggle in real time. With this setup, you have a total of two modes and five speeds. Pay attention to the info panel on the top left corner of the viewport to see when different modes are activated and how different characters' postures and animation changes. You'll also see the speed indicator change as well. It's important to be aware that you can apply more than a single IMD to your character. However, not all IMD files will have flawless transitions between each other. This means that when you switch between them, there will be a bit of a jerky transition. Let's take a brief look at our first IMD pedestrian pack, which is a great solution for crowd animation. When I go into the content folder and apply this phone walking IMD, you'll see that it will replace the previous one I had applied. However, you can still see it in the IMD drop-down menu. It is also the only one active in the IMD file section of the MD controls.
Once you start your sequence, you can click on the dark red button in the MD Triggers window to switch IMDs. And if you have an IMD that contains more modes, you can use the green button that appears to switch them as well. If you're using a game controller, then here is a handy reference image for which buttons are assigned to switch between mode and IMD or data. Let's take a look at IMD extension files now, which allow you to expand a base IMD to give more transitions and action options. An IMD extension file can add modes to a base IMD as you see here, however, it will only add speeds to an existing mode. It will also only add a perform to a speed. For example, when the athletic mode IMD extension is added to the main casual IMD, it adds the run and dash options to the current IMD presets like you see here. However, here you can see this casual walk extension, which is basically just a perform that exists only under the casual mode and walk speed. Again, you'll need to make sure that it's active if you want to use it in your real-time simulation. Once I do, if I start the simulation again, you can see that I can now trigger my brand new dodge motions that I just added, as long as I'm at that particular speed, which in this case is regular walk. Keep in mind that we will constantly be releasing free new motion director content, so be sure to check back regularly in our asset stores to avoid missing the free stuff. Finally, we have IMD data files. These are specific motion data files that have been converted specifically for use with motion director. Every idle, move, or perform motion that you see in your IMD are from IMD data files. We will discuss these more in the future because users will be able to customize these files themselves in the next phase of Motion Director's development, so there's a lot of new exciting things to look forward to. That's it for this video guys, thanks for watching, and as always stay tuned to our YouTube channel to get the latest updates on our software like the upcoming improvements I just mentioned. I'll see you in the next video.